Good morning, brothers and sisters, family in the Lord, Jesus Christ. Um, I'm just getting up. Um, I'm just waking up this morning. It's a, it's a little bit after 6 o'clock. And um, I just thought I would um, I'd, I'd uh, let you hear uh, what it sounds like in the morning uh, before I get out of bed. Um, usually this is what I do. Um, and I just thought I'd pass it on. So if there's anybody out there that's, you know, a couple of years with the Lord and, um, they're just trying to, trying to do everything they can. So, uh, these are the last days. Um, I am the last day. I am one of the, I'm one of many last days messengers. And so it's very helpful. Um, to be doing everything you can, okay, for the spiritual um, uh, spiritual warfare that's been happening and the persecution that's been going on, we've been we've been getting attacked, and a lot of the the younger believers and the younger converts they don't understand, and um, they might not have um, what it takes yet, and so I'm just trying to pass it on. <clears throat> so, uh, according to Ephesians six. 12 through 17 and then I say 18 the very last one you say it in the first tense it helps so this is this is opposed to just uh, instead of just opening up Ephesians 6 12 and reading it and reading it and reading it you know you want to get it into your spirit okay and uh, God helps us um, with an understanding that we we put it in the first tense um, Ephesians 6.12 starts off with, I have on the belt of truth. Lord, I have on the belt of truth. Uh, I have, I'm putting on your whole armor, Lord. I have on the belt of truth. I have put on the breastplate of righteousness. I have fit my feet with the good news of the gospel of peace. I have taken hold of the shield of faith which deflects the fiery darts of the evil one. Um, continuing on, um, on my head I have the helmet of salvation, which is the helmet of my deliverance, which protects my mind. Okay, um, finishing with the sword. I have this, I've taken hold of the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. So he's telling us that we have to be equipped um, with these individual pieces. Um, the first piece starting off with a truthfulness, and then the, the breastplate is of righteousness. God made us righteous. God sees us as righteous only through his Son, Jesus. We never do anything on our own. Okay, we never do anything on our own for righteousness, okay? And the third one was, I have fit my feet with the good news of, of peace. I fit my feet with, with the good news of the gospel of peace. So this is how we are. We are peaceful pe people. Um, and um, on your head, you want to protect your mind. Okay, so on your head you have the helmet of salvation, which is the helmet of your deliverance. And then you say, um, I have taken hold of the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. So keep memorizing it, you know, write it on index cards, write it on your notebook, and um, do flashcards if you have to. That's what I did on an index cards. Just just keep doing that. You'll get it into your spirit. God will know that you have on his whole armor, okay? And then um, also you want to also say to the Lord, you say, Lord, I, I'm so thankful that I, can, that I can plead your pure shed blood. Thank you, for plead, thank you for your pure shed blood, Lord. I plead your pure shed blood from the top of my head to the soles of my feet uh, both inside my body and outside my body 24 7 okay so we are pleading the pure shed blood of jesus and thanking him for it 
uh, inside your body and outside your body, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, 24-7. You're just saying it. You're acknowledging it to the Lord. Okay? And, uh, of course, you know, when you go before the Lord, I don't know. I always, uh, I still say, you know, Matthew 6, which is the disciples' prayer. A lot of people call it the Lord's Prayer. It doesn't matter what you call it. Um, it is the disciples' prayer, though, because we say it. Uh, our Father who is in the heavens, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in the heavens, and give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I do these things nonstop, okay? I do this nonstop. It's perpetual when you're a child of God. And uh, I'm just passing it on for maybe anybody out there who has been attacked or who doesn't know what to do. Um, they might be just starting out. I hope that was helpful. God bless you. Have a good day.